Hi everyone, I'm back with another DIY project. Today I'm going to frame in my bathroom mirror. Um, it's a pretty large piece of mirror, but there's it's just stuck to the wall. So I'm going to put a frame around it, and um, let's see how this goes. First I need to cut the angle on the end of this trim. I purchased this trim at Home Depot. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. I spent a total of $28 and got trim, the adhesive to put it to the mirror, and the caulking gun that the adhesive has to go into to in order for it to come out. So first let me trim off this corner, and I have to have an angle like a picture frame. So it's at a 45. And these are pretty dangerous tools, so please be careful. Wear safety glasses, which um, my reading glasses or my prescription glasses um, have safety lenses in them. So please be careful when you do this. Wear your safety glasses. Keep your hands out of the way. And uh, just be careful in general. I just need to cut off one edge of this. Make sure it's pushed up against the um, stop right here so you get a good, nice, even cut. That's my first cut. Now I need it the longest piece. My mirror measures six feet and one quarter inch. Um, so it's 60 inches and one quarter. And then along the sides, it measures three and a half feet. So first I want to make the longest cut, which is the six and a quarter, six feet and one quarter inches. And you always measure from point and you're going to make the other angle to the top point. Because I'm putting this across the top of the mirror. And I always try to do an eyeball of where it's going to cut at, a little on the outside of that mark. Okay, here it goes. Very simple. So I'm going to continue to do all my cuts, and I'll be back with you after I stain it, and I'll show you how I put it on the wall. I'm back. I'm currently in our bathroom. I have my board stained, as you can see, and I have my caulk gun primed and ready with the instant power grab. I've never used this before. Um, it's comparable to uh, liquid nails, but I will see how it works today. So first, I'm going to put the bottom piece on. That way, there will be something for the rest of them to kind of nest on or sit on and I don't have to hold them. So I'm going to apply some of the adhesive onto the wood. And to keep it from, it will keep squirting out the end. There's a release right here on the back end. Just pop it and it will release the pressure and the glue will stop coming out the end like that. Okay, set that aside. Hopefully this is enough adhesive. If not, I can always add more. Make sure it's all the way in. Just going to hold it in place for a minute. That way I know it's adhering to the mirror. I know this is kind of boring for you to watch, so I will go ahead and finish the rest 
of the frame and then I'll be back with you with the finished frame. Oh hi, I'm back. You caught me cleaning the mirror. Okay, what do you think? I'm going to try to show you the final frame. Look! And it was very painless. Well, I hope the hubs likes it because it isn't coming down. And I'll be back and I'll show you some more DIY or maybe something else. Bye!